So we will begin with uh, uh, the installation of encoder on this QS motor. The same tutorial applies to uh, QS 138, 70H, 90H and uh, QS 2000 motor, uh, 2 kilowatt. Uh, and uh, this tutorial will also work for QS 90 motor. The back cover will change, otherwise everything will be same. So what you will need is a 4mm Allen key and uh, we will unscrew it. Okay, so after unscrewing these uh, six bolts, you need to pry uh, using some flathead screwdriver like this and the back cover will come loose. Uh, Philip head screwdriver and unscrew the current hall sensor assembly from the motor Just like this Okay, so we disconnected the connector uh, these two wires the red and black one these are for a temperature sensor wires and uh, these needs need to be soldered onto the encoder chip here uh, at these two points so you need to either desolder them or uh, uh, you can also cut them for now and keep it aside remove the old hall sensor plate and now we need to remove this uh, circular magnet uh, it have around uh, it have a 10 mm bolt here so we will unscrew it after unscrewing the bolt uh, we need to pry it and uh, this part will come loose so after removing the hole sensor and uh, the magnet from this motor uh, we would need a 6 mm drill bit so that we can drill a hole inside uh, the motor shaft and uh, install our hole sensor magnet one thing to keep in mind is uh, there is a hole opening uh, in the motor so if we drill without uh, uh, closing this hole uh, the little metal particles can get into the motor and uh, damage the motor so we will use some masking tape and uh, install it here and seal this hole so that our, all our drilling uh, won't make its way into the motor and we will take the drill bit and uh, we just need to enlarge the hole a little bit and uh, blow it up a bit so that the shavings uh, blows away and then we will install the magnet align the magnet flat on the shaft and now we will uh, apply some super glue to the magnet If you put any excess super glue, uh, then use some uh, tissues with isopropyl alcohol (IPX) to wipe it down. Uh, to install the encoder chip, uh, you need to align it like this, and you can see. Uh, uh, there are two holes for the screws use the supplied screws and uh, tighten the encoder plate inside okay so the connector on the uh, encoder plate is uh, 7 pin connector and uh, it's 1.27 mm pitch but the one on uh, the QS encoders is a 6 pin connector so this connector will be of no use for us okay so in our case we will cut the old wire
after installing the temperature sensor wires, uh, you would need to plug this cable uh, that is supplied with the encoder uh, inside this uh, first port. Uh, you can see the pins are labeled as 5 volt, temperature, ABI, PWM and ground. So we will use this port to connect our encoder to the controller. So we will install the connector like this and uh, we will use the end cap provided and uh, you can use the uh, silicone or some kind of sealant across this uh, uh, casing and also apply some silicone over to this uh, this point where the connector uh, meets uh, the PCB so you you can secure uh, secure these connections with uh, some silicone or uh, some kind of adhesive so the motor can maintain the waterproof uh, water resistance and then all you need to do is install this cover and uh, tighten some bolts so now I will apply some uh, uh, adhesive but before the applying the adhesive and final uh, fitting what I will do is I will screw the uh, bolts and then I will test the motor on the controller to see if everything works as intended now I will tighten the bolts and then test this motor with the controller and if everything goes well we will uh, move on to uh, the final uh, fitting okay so now uh, we know this encoder chip works we tested this in our encoder testing video and uh, then we will use this kind of uh, uh, sealant adhesive you can use silicon or any other adhesive so this is a rubber based adhesive and first of all we will uh, apply it here this connector so that it won't come loose also straight level the connector a bit applied it to these wires as well a bit and a little bit onto these uh, bolts so that they, they won't come loose after uh, you run the motor with a lot of other issues and now you can apply this glue over here like this this will seal the motor from any water ingress and now also apply this glue where the wire comes out and now we will install the cap back onto the motor like this Now we can take some of the screws. Just like this, and uh, now we need to fill the hole here. Yeah. With the similar adhesive so that no water gets inside and that's all now you have successfully installed the uh, qs encoder into the qs motor